Opted to keep the attack on the far side of the pitch. Got to fill the box now. Good one, Chris. Oh, it's a miss at the back post, and Billy King might have a chance here. Jinks it inside. Ben oh, McCormack. Oh, what a, save. what a save, Mark McGinley. That is a fantastic save by the Finn Harps goalkeeper. We had a great angle on this side. Ben McCormack looking to get a second goal in two games. He scored his first league goal for the club on Monday evening at the ball, and of course assisted the winner and nearly got the opener tonight. Some owners, and to be honest with you, Conan Bourne on, on Twitter this week said, uh, like, we're not at the stage for fitting proper tests of football owners, but like... A great pass, here's Burns. He's in a great position to strike. Oh, he's dropped it. It's the rebound oh. in, it's not. What a tackle oh, at the back post. Tackle. Is it a corner or a goal oh, kick? It's a goal kick. I think it was Regan Donlan. It is Regan Donlan. What a take from uh, Regan Darryl Donlan Burns. is injured. Owen Doyle is injured. Mark McGinley is injured. And we'll have a replay here, Jared, to have a look at it. What a great ball in by Chris. What a take by Darryl Burns. Though. Ref did well to do Gets it. Gets away from Harry. Probably just couldn't generate enough power, but really, really well so far. Sitting toward in the league, but listen, pressure has to be on as well. We want to go and win the game to see. Oh, him. great touch by McCormick into Owen Doyle. Is it a good save by McGinley? It's not because it oh. might go in. No, it's gone wide of the post. It's going to be a corner, and it's another brilliant save by the Finn Harps goalkeeper, who's performing very, very well here at Richmond Park. He's made a couple of key saves in the last couple of moments, and what here's another touch. one. What a touch by Ben, and, and Doyle's taking her on. Ollie in oh his. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Ollie in uh, for him, you know, he, he'll be relatively pleased if it goes in a half time nil now. Here goes Forrester being chased by Barry McNamee. It's probably a bit of magic coming here and a, li a little jink to get him into a great position. And oh, it's a great what cross. A Owen Doyle was in the box and so was Ben McCormick. But the danger's not gone for Finn Harps because King clips it back in towards yes. Owen Doyle. Yeah. And it's a goal for St. Patrick's Athletic and it has been coming. And Owen Doyle nets for the third time in the league, his fourth goal for the club, having scored in the President's Cup as well. Really well stood up by Billy King, and Owen Doyle does what Owen Doyle does, gives the goalkeeper no chance. McGinley has kept St. Pat's out for the last few minutes with a couple of big saves, but he couldn't save that one. And it's Owen Doyle to give the Saints the lead here in the 38th minute chair. Jay, I just thought since the start of the game, his movement and his energy has been just different than it has been in previous weeks. He's making those runs, and he's actually getting on to players for not giving them the ball. His movement's fantastic. But Chris's original ball in is brilliant. It's a, it's a hell of a header out by Slevin. But Billy King does really well. You can see Chris the man there for a pullback, but Billy's dug her out. And he's obviously got a shout because you can see Dara Bourne's ducking. And it's a fantastic header back across the keeper from Owen Doyle. They're bringing the next generation with them. So yeah, things are really good on and off the pitch in the moment. Yeah, it was great to see all the local kids on the Easter camp. Sponsored by Brock the Lap during the week and all in their Super Saints colours. And here is the free kick, which will be whipped in by McCormack. Oh, oh. brilliant save, Mark McGinley. Wasn't sure if Ben was going to cross it or was going to shoot, and either way, it's one of those curlers. And McGinley, who's having a great game in goal for Finn Harps tonight, chair, has to just touch it over the crossbar. Yeah, it's a good effort. Ben's definitely gone for that. He's gone for that back post. A great save. Yeah, it's a good save. So it was very weird seeing Bachineri, one of the best midfielders in the league, putting on the goalie gear. <laughs> and that's it corner towards the back post the it's penalty, penalty is it he's given it penalty. I think it's Joe Redmond at the back post that's been fouled he's definitely down at the back post the referee did have a good angle and it'll be interesting to see on a replay here Jer it's Ethan Boyle and Joe Redmond and he's just wrestled him to the ground can he save his team here as we approach the hour mark at Richmond Park it's Owen Doyle against Mark McGinley and it's brilliant, and Owen Doyle has scored his second on the evening, and his fourth league goal of the season for St. Pat's to double the lead here. Sends McGinley the wrong way, really confident, particularly after having his effort on Monday against UCD saved, and it really is an advantage St. Pat's now, Jaren, the St. Pat's fans on the far side are absolutely delighted. Oh, great touch, Bermo. Bermo's had about six touches of the ball since he's come on, every single one of them been Perfect. brilliant. And that is it from Richmond Park. It's finished. St. Patrick's Athletic 2, Finn Harps nil. Owen Doyle on the double secures the points for the Saints. A good performance, a clean sheet. Great to see Owen Doyle back in the goals. And job done for the Saints this evening. Uh, again, pleasing with the result. Um, listen, we can play better, but the uh, important thing was to get the three points tonight. Um, Owen Doyle getting a couple of goals and another clean sheet, which was, uh, which was good. And uh, it backs up the win on Monday. The late win we got out in uh, UCD and... It's that's nicely now next week for uh, Derry coming here.